Uh, hello everyone. Uh, welcome back. Uh, I guess we're on part eight. Oh. Okay, never mind. I just I just missed that. <laughs> Oops. Alright, here we go. Um, okay, so he's saying uh, Ganbatemaska. Um, and as we've said before, Ganbaru means to do one's best, to try hard, to sort of persevere. So this is kind of a uh, present continuous um present continuous vibe, yeah. Yeah, gambatte iru would be present continuous. He's just sort of made it polite. So are you doing your best? Are you hanging in there? Kind of thing. Koko wa otakara zakuzaku bichi. So this place, otakara zakuzaku bichi. Um, a treasure filled beach or something like that. Um, whoops, what am I doing? Oh no, what's going on? Oh, there we go. Oh, he's saying kudasai at the end. That's funny. So, atarashi akushon wo. Atarashi is new. Um, so, of course, new actions or new moves. Koko de uh, at this place. Futatsu oboete kudasai. So, to, you know, memorize or learn. Please learn two new moves at this place. Uh, quite weird. Quite a weird thing to say, actually. You'd think he'd say, like, potential form, like... Um, you can learn to here. Boy. I just don't want to. Okay, good, good. You can bite us. That's fine. Am I? Am I invincible? That kind of sucks, doesn't it? Uh, maybe not. We're only here to collect things and read text, so I suppose dying would just be an obstacle to that. Maybe so. Uh, Sunaka Sama. <laughs> no told you that. Okay. Do you know what? I wonder if I got this muddled up. Tojo is the appearance on a stage or one's appearance somewhere. Tojo sort of entering the venue, entering the arena, uh, entering the scene. Let me just see Tojo. I want to remember what the, the kanji is. Um, okay, so it's like, yeah, to climb the scene, it's, you know, that's a bit literal, but yeah, it means to enter the scene. And Sunaka is his name, he's referring to himself by his name, and then um, Summer, <laughs> he's putting Summer as like a polite title onto his own name, which is crazy, don't do that, you, you can't do that. Um but yeah, it's, you know, it's it's kind of funny. It shows that he's sort of very arrogant, very full of himself. Um, and then, oishona ni oi ga suru ze. Okay. So, oishi is like delicious. Um, oisho means, you know, seemingly delicious, to seem delicious. And it seems that so is a na adjective when you put so onto any adjective it becomes a no adjective a na adjective sorry so oi so na nioi nioi is a smell basically so a delicious smell and then gasuru it means like it happens like or again it might be like um uh having the quality of something so it just means that um yeah, you have the quality of a delicious, de seemingly delicious smell. So you, yeah, you smell delicious, basically. Or you, yeah, you, yeah. Yeah, no, that works, doesn't it? You smell delicious. It might not be we necessarily are, but we seem to be delicious by our smell. Uh, so we have Watashi wa... Akai hane. Um, yeah, watashi wa ai akai hane. Akai is the adjectival form of the ver of the adjective, uh, sorry. Yeah, the colour red, sorry. So aka is red, akai means red, but like as an as an adjective. And then hane is feather, so red feather. Uh kazui ga sora wo tobu toki. O tetsudai wo shimas. Um yeah, so at the time or when Kazui uh, flies, Tobu is flies, isn't it? Flies 
through the sky, basically. Or Tetsudai wo shimasu. So I will do help. I will do assistance. Or less literally, I will help when Kazooie uh, flies through the sky. Flies in the sky. I hope I'm actually invincible and not just wasting health. Um... notes. There are. Okay, very nice, very nice. Oh. This will get the move first. Is this going to talk to us? Okay, so this um, uh, is a jump who die, I suppose. Jump who die, a jump platform. Uh, for the purpose, tame is like purpose or sake, for the purpose of flying through the sky. So it's uh, yeah, uh, a pad for flying through the sky. Okay. <laughs> Watashi wo sagasanai to mada tsukau koto wa dekimasen. So, um, yeah, we'll start seeing this as a conditional, I think. Like, if you do not search for me... <laughs> that was a bit backwards there. Yeah, if you do not search for me, uh, yet, like, use phenomenon cannot, or use event can't complete, or, you know, cannot use... you. you you won't be able to use it unless you search for me. Uh, let's go. He's right there. Omachika ne chicken chan. So yeah, I guess omachika, omachika ne, omachika ne do. Well, it's sort of like to not be able to wait or to be made to wait or something. Let's just have a look. Yeah, or machikane, long waited for. Okay. And then chicken chan. So just talking to Kazui. Uh Sora wo tobu ho ho O shiete agemasho. So the uh method. Yeah, basically the method for flying uh, through the sky. Um I've kind of decided or let's teach you, or I've decided to teach you, or I've yeah, endeavoured, not endeavoured, I'm determined now to teach you. It's like, sort of shows your, well, shows your volition, doesn't it? So I suppose it's just saying, I will now teach you. Um, kind of the determined version of the word will. <laughs> Oi! Oh, God, I didn't scroll. Okay, good. Yatto ne. So yatto means, like, finally, basically. And ne is just ne. Kantan, <laughs> like simple, is it simple? Ne megane kun. And then, I don't know why she's saying that, to be honest, at the end. Like, hey, megane kun, hey, glasses boy. Um, it's funny, actually, to me. <laughs> What's going on here? Sekachina chicken chan ni mo ka ta Sekachi. Those are crazy words in here, isn't there? Sekachi. Hasty, impatient. I have never heard that. Or I haven't noticed it, anyway. Um, Sekachi na. Obviously a na adjective, because we've got na here. Sekachi na chicken chan ni mo. So it's sort of like... Mo is like the inclusive particle. So it's like... Kind of also to... An impatient chicken. It's simple. Um, and that sort of also sort of implies a kind of a, you know, to everyone, including even a hasty chicken, um, it's simple. So, yeah, even to you, it's simple is, is kind of what he's, what he's saying. Akai jumpu dai no ue de, e botan wo osu dake des. So, red jump uh, platform. Um, <laughs> Well, so this debt is making us 
is telling us to do a verb at that location. So at on top of a red jump uh, platform. Um, press the A button only, or rather merely press the A button. You just have to press the A button. That's all. <laughs> oh, okay, good. Uh, sa, kono akai hane wo dozo. Um, so now, <laughs> kono akai hane, these red feathers. And then dozo is sort of like saying, it's sort of like go ahead, I suppose. Uh, go ahead, here you are, take them. It, you know, it's fine. Please go ahead before me. You know, it has all these kinds of sort of like, please, please take this. Please go ahead sort of thing. Um, so, yeah, take these uh, red feathers is uh, more naturally what he's saying in English. But, yeah. Um, Sora wo tobu no ni hitsuyo desu. So this no again is acting as like a nominalizer for this um, uh, verb phrase. And then it's sort of like these, that they are a requirement. They are a requirement for the act. I suppose you could see that as the act of flying through the sky. So that they're, they're needed for flight, basically. Thank you. And then just ja ne, which is, you know, with that ne. <laughs> uh, with that being said, see you. It's kind of a, it's kind of a very short uh a shortening down of probably a phrase like that it's like with that see you later but it's just become like with that kind of and then ne ja ne de wa see you ne kind of like did i miss any notes there i hope not okay so we have ooh to start with uh, washi wa kono hune no sencho kyaputen burabaja. Uh, so again, washi, he's opting for this uh, pronoun for himself as well. Washi wa kono hune, this ships, not just sort of linking the nouns together. Sencho. Uh, sen is another way of reading probably the same kanji as hune. So it means ship. And then cho means like the, basically the, the, the most senior member, the leader of something. So he's the ship's leader. Um, or, you know, of course, a captain. He's the captain of the ship. And then kyaputen, which is the word captain, but written in katakana. And then buraba, which is blaba, but written in katakana. And then cha acting like a declarative. So I am Captain Blubba. <laughs> Uh, fune ga nampa shitatoki. Nampa, I guess that must mean um, shipwrecked. Yeah, nampa, shipwreck. And fune ga nampa shitatoki. I don't know why it's in speech marks. Uh, yeah, I don't know. It might, it might just be sort of like, you know, quote marks around it. Um, like you might do with your fingers. <laughs> anyway, funega nampa shitatoki. So at the time or when the uh, ship shipwrecked, <laughs> kind of, when it shipwrecked, that's a past tense suru, so shita. Um, o takara mo shizunte, the treasure also sank. Uh, shizunu is to sink. So shizunde is the, uh, the te form. <laughs> And then shimatanja, just of course making it into an undesirable verb that occurred. So uh, I think I I've recently been made aware that shimao can mean to do something completely. It can mean for a task or something to be done to completion, but I don't think it. I don't th no. I think I think this is undesirable. It's like they sank. And he didn't want them to, so he said shimatta ja, and then ooh. Uh, ja, mogutte sagaseba, kyaputen buraba. 
So she's saying, uh, so um, Moguru is to dive, Mogute, uh, Sagaseba. So that's just linking them sort of in order, I suppose. So dive and Sagasu is to search. Sagaseba is like a conditional. And it can be used in this way to say sort of like, um, yeah, like, why don't you search for them then? Or you should search for them. You should dive and search for them. Um, yeah, so that's sort of enough, I think. And then Captain Braba, just his name. So we got ooh again. Demo washiwa o yoge nainja. Um, so demo meaning but washiwa bringing up the topic of himself. Uh, o yogu is to swim. O yogeru is to be able to swim. O yoge nai is to not be able to swim. And then unja, just again making it kind of inquisitive, uh, explanatory language. And then kono oi bore <laughs> no kaba wo taskete kudasaran ka. Um, yeah, kono oi bore no kaba. Well, it's, I don't know what oi bore is, but let's look it up. Okay. It's sort of, as a verb, oi boreru, it means to become decrepit, to become senile. So, oi bore, as a noun, it could be like, yeah, you know, well, I've got, I've got entries here. Feeble-minded old man, senile old fool. So just, you know, this poor old, I suppose you could see it as. Um, so this poor old and then kaba is hippo, but you need no in the middle to link the nouns. Uh, yeah, poor old hippo, tuskete, te form of tuskero, meaning to help, and then kudasaru, words, is I suppose sort of the, yeah, it's just kind of the verb form of kudasai. So kudasaru means like, as a question, would be like, will you help? And then kudasaran is it's it's an odd negative basically it's like kudasaranai would be like to not do the favor of helping i suppose you could translate it as but what you can do with negatives is you don't have to say nai you can just leave it as n which is a bit a bit ruder it's well not not ruder it's just a bit more lazy and therefore not appropriate in some contexts, right? So kuda saran ka, and then that ka just makes it into a question. So will not you do the favor of helping this, you know, kind of poor old hippo? It's the vibe. And then banjo is mochiron, like of course. Ja sagashite agemasho. Uh, now. Uh, you know, let's, you know, let's help you look sort of thing. Let's do you the favor of looking, uh, searching for the treasure. And we will. Want as many skulls as I can get. Oh, the treasure's talking to us. Everything's got a little icon and, and, and speech. Yeah. Watashi wa kyaputen buraba no otakara desu. Okay. So, hey, yeah. I, Captain Blubber's treasure. Basically, I am Captain Blubber's treasure. That's very simple. <laughs> why even, why even put that in the game?
Yo, bro. Okay. Oh, Corazol. Um, Corazol, just you call it this, basically. I, I suppose implied within that is, you know, this is it. This is what I was asking for. But yeah, it's just saying Corazol, this. Masani washi no otakara. I don't really get masani. I think maybe like undoubtedly. Masani. Exactly, surely, certainly. Yeah, seems seems I'm sort of right. Undoubtedly, I think, maybe. Masani Washino Takara, so for sure my treasure. And then Arigata. Just really thank you. Sa kore wo uketotte kude. So now this and then uketoru is like to accept something. Um to receive well, you've got ukeru, which is to receive, and toru, which is to take. So it's like receive, take, kind of literally. But it just means, you know, yeah, it just means take this, accept this. Um, and of course, he's going to give us that. Sate, sasoku koitsu wo tsukatte koyo to. Okay. Um, sate, I guess, is just a bit like. Sa, probably, like now. Sasoku koitsu. So sasoku means like immediately, I believe. Or yeah, quickly, immediately. Koitsu. Koitsu means like, it's kind of a rough way of saying this, this thing or this person. Um, so don't say it to people, but I, I have said it. <laughs> I have said it about my students. <laughs> um, and I remember the, the, the teacher looking up and sort of, you know, kind of in a, you shouldn't have said that kind of way. It's kind of funny, but she didn't mind too much because the kids were saying it first. So I just copied them. I asked for a volunteer and they were, they were pointing to this one kid and saying, Koitsu, Koitsu, Koitsu. And then I walked over to him and said, Koitsu, and chose him. Um, and the teacher, yeah. She she was fine. She was all right. She thought it was probably. I think she found it kind of funny, but I I knew I shouldn't have said it. Yeah, um, skatte is to use and koyo. I'm wondering if this is this could be the volitional of kuru. Kuru means to come. Um, and koyo is the volitional of that. So I'm wondering if it's that. But then I don't know what Toe's doing at the end. Koyoto. Unless it's just... Unless the verb that should be with Toe is omitted. So he's, he might be saying that I was thinking that let's... You know, I want to use this treasure immediately or something. But he, But he hasn't put a verb with it after. Um, not sure. I might have to ask. Yeah, I might have to ask someone and see what they say. Probably not that important anyway, but yeah. Get out of here, dude. Right, what else is going to talk to me? Everything. I've got another move here for a start. Oh. Uh, これは shock jump のための jump 台です。So this is a uh, jump platform <laughs> uh, of the purpose of a shock jump or for the purpose of a shock jump. Uh, 使い方を教えるから、uh, Yeah, sort of um, Yeah, you know I will teach the usage method Or the way, how to use I will teach how to use So 私を探してください uh, Please look 
uh, for me. Please search me. Please search for me. Look for me. Shoku jumpu o masta sureba sugoku takaku tobemas. Okay. Um, well, first of all, I suppose we have sureba, which is the conditional of suru. So if you do the master, if you, or simply making master into a verb. So if you master the shock jump, um, sugoku takaku tobemas. Um, sort of incredibly highly, uh, and then tobu is to jump as well as fly, uh, but yeah, in this case, to jump, of course, and then toberu is the potential form of that. So, tobemas to be able to jump, so you will be able to jump, uh, extremely highly. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, ga yatte kureru to taskaru um, uh, Yeah, I think that's kind of a conditional, this toe. Um, so it's like if Kazui, uh, you know, does it, and then kureru, you know, Banjo is saying like, you know, kind of as a favor to me, um, if Kazui does it rather than me, so it's Kuderu because Kazui is doing it for him, um, kind of vibe. Um, Taskarun dakedona. Taskaru, um, slightly different to Taskeru. Taskeru is to help someone else or help something or whatever, and Taskaru is sort of to be helped. Um, and people often just say taskaru to as a way to say like thank you as well it can mean like you know uh taskatta is like you know you helped me and implied within that or or sorry less literally it's it's more literally i mean it's more like i was helped and implied within that is like thank you for helping um so i suppose arguably taskaru could be seen as meaning, you know, I will be grateful. Um, so he's sort of saying, I guess, I'll be grateful if Kazooie does it. Um, and then un ducked or na. Oh my gosh. But you got un, just making it kind of, you know, explanatory language, uh, assertive kind of language, just sort of very explanatory. And then ducked all is just like a softener again. It's just kind of softening the end of the sentence because if you just if you just say taskarun da it just sounds you know uh short a bit sudden a bit a bit kind of rude a bit kind of inconsiderate maybe so you can say kedo to sort of say you know to imply maybe i'll be grateful but and then implied by saying this kind of but thing at the end it's like I understand that that might not be the case, or I'm fine if that's not the case, or whatever. And then na at the end is just kind of saying na out loud to himself, like, wouldn't I be grateful if Kazooie does it? Uh, yeah, so it's just, so Dakido just kind of softens it, and na is just that, saying something out loud like that. Boku wa mo kutakuta nanda. Um, so I already or any more? Yeah, maybe already in this case. Kuta kuta nanda. Kuta kuta, I think, is quite bad. I think it can mean like tired from sex. Maybe not. Exhausted, tired, withered, worn out. So just, yeah, just tired. But again, I would advise against saying this to people. Um, and you know you could probably say it to friends, but yeah, don't don't just throw it around to your colleagues <laughs> or anything, because yeah, it 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 might sound kind of bad. And then nanda, just again, sort of very explanatory language. Uh, shinpai irimasen, and shinpai is um, worry, basically. 
so uh or yeah concern concern or worry idimasen this is the polite negative form of idu which is to need so idimasen is just you know we don't need or you don't need or there is no need to you know there is we don't need concern we don't need worry because it's he doesn't say because, but um, yeah, chicken chan no deban des. Um, it's the chicken's deban, the chicken's turn, the chicken's roll, the chicken's turn to do the move. I feel like everything, Kazooie does everything. <laughs> Should be called Kazooie and Banjo. Um, soko no midori no jumpu dai no ue de, e botan wo zutto. Okay. Yeah, zutto. So we're ending with zutto there. Okay. So uh, kind of at on top of over there's green jump platform. Uh, zutto means like kind of for a long time or for a, for a while. So yeah, for a while or for a long time, a botan wo oship. Panashi ni suru dake des. Oh my gosh. Why is it ni suru? I guess because oshi panashi is a noun, probably. So it. So because it's not. Because it's not a verb, we need to add ni suru. Well, we don't need to add ni suru. But we have added ni suru. Why have we added ni suru? I think it's just like nisuru is kind of like make it, make something so that it is this way. So it might just be like, yeah, make make it so that the A button is pressed and oshi panashi. I think like adding like hanashi or banashi or panashi to the end of a of some phrases like this means to be left in that way. Um. So oshi panashi is like to press and then to leave it pressed. So act so that the A button is for a long time pressed and left pressed. And then dake is just only or merely. So merely do that in order to use use the move. Um, yeah. <laughs> I hope that makes sense. Uh, so this is all modifying action. So the new moves that uh, you can learn on the beach. Um, uh, with this finished. So basically, yeah, you've 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 learned all of the moves that there are to learn on this beach. Cheers, mate. Let's talk to the little the bucket boy. Boku wa buckets no leaky. Excellent. So I am buckets, which is a bucket. Uh, leaky. Leaky the bucket is just... Um, Best translation, probably. Demo ana ga aite ite mizu o kumenai nda. Okay. Demo is but ana is a hole, so an ana a hole ga aite ite aite ru. It's sort of like again, kind of a present continuous kind of form of aku, which means to be open. So aite ite, ah, yeah, aite ite. It's aite idu, meaning to exist in a state of being open or to 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 have a hole, less literally. Um, and we need to end it with te form as well because we want to continue with the sentence. So aite idu becomes aite ite, mizu o kumenainda. Mizu is water, and kumeru. I assume. Oh, do you know what? I think it's kumu. Kumu is to like. 
have a look. Yeah, kumu is to like to draw water, to ladle, uh, to dip, to scoop, to pump, whatever. You know, he can't he can't scoop, he can't ladle water. So this is from kumu. It becomes the potential form. So all you have to do is change the mu to me and add ru onto the end, ku me ru. And then it's negative as well because he wants to say that he can't do that. So ku me nai, and then unda. Uh, just again, explanatory language. Uh, Kuma-san, so Mr. Bear. Nanika marui mono de ana wo fusaide kuremasen ka? Uh, so nanika is like some kind of, I, I, I think. Marui mono de. Uh, marui is an adjective meaning round or circular. Marui mono, so a round object. And then de is via or by the means of. <laughs> uh, ana wo fusaide kuremasen ka? Um, fusagu is to plug something, to block something. Um, and so, yeah. Ana wo fusaide, that's just the te form, so block the whole. And then kudemasenka is kind of negative, um, a kind of negative favor asking kind of way of saying verbs. So, you know, will not you do me the favor of um, blocking the hole uh, with uh, some kind of round object. Um, I never, you know, when I was when I was playing this as a kid, he asked for a pebble to block the holes with. So I actually, I never knew what he meant. I, it took me like I cleared the whole game before I, I found out he wanted an egg or two. Um, yeah, com completely, uh, yeah, completely just was lost on me. Uh, so here he's saying, Arigato. Uh, thank you. Liki no mizu more wa naurimashita. Molelu is to leak uh, fluid. I think it can also mean to go for a, for a leak, <laughs> to have a, to have a pee. Um, so yeah, molelu. Uh, mizu more, I guess, is a, is a noun. So it's a water leak um so yeah leaky's water leak and now root is to sort of get better um it's intransitive so it's like it's like if you have a if you have a wound the wound just kind of heals on its own you know it now roos whereas to fix something to make something better uh is now so they're different verbs but yeah now rimashita so leaky's water leak is fixed or has fixed. Uh, Kuma san, so Mr. Bear, koko no mizu o kumidashite agemasho. So this area's water, uh, ladle and remove, I suppose, ladle remove uh, for you, basically. I will uh, ladle remove the water here. Or remove the water. That's literally. <laughs> nice. Swap these notes. I haven't saved in a while. I'm just going to save. Okay, here we go. Uh, yokoso, koko wa suna no shiro. Okay, so yokoso is welcome. Koko wa, this place, suna no shiro. Suna is sand, and shiro is a castle, so sand castle, simply. Anata wa totemo kashkoso. Okay, so you very seeming intelligent so you seem very smart you seem very uh, wise okay watashi no puzzle wo toita nara really toita nara chanto gohobi agemasu yo um so my puzzle toku is to solve 
basically. Toku is solve or to dispel or, you know, things like that. Um, I find it weird that he's saying toita, which is the past tense. Toku becomes toita. And then nara, making it into a kind of a conditional. So maybe it's like, if you have... Um, I think we've got this kind of relative tense thing going on in Japanese here where um, even though we haven't done it yet, by the time we have done it, of course, we will have done it. So you can use past tense for that. Um, I think that's what's going on. So if you have uh, solved, sol yeah, sorry, if you have solved my puzzle, uh, chanto go hobi agemasyo. So properly or, uh, yeah, properly chanto, like properly, properly, I think. It's not really a good translation for it, maybe. Like maybe definitely, or I will ensure, surely. Go hobi is like a, a reward, basically. Uh, go is an honorific and hobi is the reward meaning part of the word, but I think they're usually used together, gohobi. And then agemas, I will give you properly a reward, like once you have solved my puzzle, or if you have solved my puzzle. Okay, we're on it. Oh, excuse me, you know. Ooh. I've been thinking recently, I've been playing this game on the Switch and stuff. Um, again. Uh, and I wondered how people sort of got on with these puzzles when they were Well, whenever that whenever they played the game, because like I personally have sort of never I've never had, like, really any problem with spelling. But I wonder if, you know, if you do have problems with spelling things. These sort of puzzles must have been a real pain. And the cheats as well, because you have to come in here to enter cheats. So you have to know how to spell the words, you know, in English to to get the cheats and stuff. Um... So yeah, I wonder if people had difficulty with that. I mean, if, if I had trouble with spelling, I'm sure I would just hate these puzzles. But yeah, I don't mind them really. Um, Sasuga wa Kuma-san. Kashikoi ne. Hmm. Well, that's funny. Sasuga kind of means like... Um, it's a positive way of saying sort of like as expected, I find. Uh, or, I mean, I find that sort of seems to be what it means. Like, Sasuga, like, as I expected, as expected of someone as awesome as you. It's kind of... It's kind of how it works. So, uh, but I don't know why was here. People don't usually say wa with it. Sasuga wa kumasa. Unless it's saying Sasuga wa Kumasan. Is it saying like oh, Sasuga wa? Why is Sasuga wa? Hmm. As one would expect, it's just it's just telling me the same thing. Maybe so. Maybe you can just say this and then say the person that it's attributed to or something. Sasugawa Kumasan. So as would be expected of the bear, Mister Bear. Kashikoi ne, you are smart, aren't you? And then Geto wa aitashi kore ageru. Um. Yeah. So. This is just the past tense of aku, meaning to open. So the gate opened, and then she is, uh, again, this kind of um, non-exhaustive list of reasons. Um, I don't know what else he's got to add to this, but that she 
marks like a list of reasons, a non uh, one reason among a, a, a list of reasons, and it just yeah. Usually people only really say one, and then they just say she, and then kore ageru. Uh, so I will give you this. Um, okay, demo ne kumasan. So. However, though, Mr. Bear kind of thing. I don't know. Sono uh, mayani, kind of before that, basically. Omae no chikara wo mite yaru zo. Mite yaru. Yeah, okay. So, your power, like I will see, I will witness. Miru is to like see. So Mita Yaru. Uh, Yaru is just kind of, I feel, makes it like, well, a bit rougher, maybe very physically involved as well. Mita Yaru. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like he could have just said Miruzo, and that would have had basically the same meaning, but he said Mita Yaru for a slightly rougher kind of nuance, I think. And then Zo is, you know, Again, just kind of a um, <clears throat> just kind of a yeah sentence ending thing sounds kind of funny Ooh. I also think that probably if I'd <laughs> if I'd even got in there as a kid I wouldn't have known what to do. I think, in fact, I do, I think I do remember, I do remember, I think, being in there and just wondering what I was supposed to even do. It's fine. Oi. Oi. Okay, I'm at 50. No point collecting anymore. Um, what now? I I just need to jump over these bits. Bend. They're going to be a bit uncomfortable. Okay, that's good. Let's see what's inside. That's some notes. Need those. Oish. Any skulls? I know there's skulls somewhere. Not in there. Sorry. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna edit back to that because <laughs> I completely forgot to completely forgot to pause it. All right, see you in a sec. All right, let's have a look. <laughs> Here we go. Um, so we have Otakara ga Hoshi no Nara. Um, Hoshi is to is it's kind it's an adjective in Japanese. It means to be desirable, but it's usually best to translate it as kind of meaning if you if you want something. Um, but yeah, it's an adjective in Japanese meaning to be desirable. So it's like if well, nara makes it into if no is just adding um, inquisition in, inquisitive. An inquisitive vibe, a more inquisitive vibe, I think, to the sentence. 
So it's like if uh, you if <laughs> if treasure is desirable or if you want treasure, but ten wo mi ushi now na yo. Okay, but ten. I guess that's his name. I don't really know what that means. What's but ten? I don't know what but then is. Uh, that's not his name in English, is it? But then. Oh, no. But then means the cross mark. Okay, so it's the, it's the marks on the floor. That makes sense. Okay, cross mark, demerit mark, an X. Quite simply. Okay, but then that makes sense. Uh, me ushi now. Me. This is the stem of miru meaning to look at, and ushi now means to lose something. Um, and then we've got na at the end, making it into a negative imperative. So it's saying like, do not lose like sight, do not lose looking at the, at the cross, do not lose sight of, do not, do not lose the X. Uh, yeah. And then yo at the end, of course, just adding force, kind of. Oh god, here we go. Uh, Kuchu de ebotan wo osu to sarani takaku tobi agarimasu ga. Um, yeah, so kuchu de just meaning where, like in the sky. Uh, ebotan wo osu to press the A button and, or if you press the A button, sarani takaku tobi agarimasu. Um, additionally, or further, sarani is furthermore, or additionally, or even further, or whatever. So sarani is more, basically. Takaku is highly. Takai is high. Takaku is the adverb. Um, so more highly. Tobi agaru is uh, the, the verb tobu, to fly, combined with the word agaru, which means to rise. So it's like fly up. Tobi agaru, but then it's agari mas because he wants to use polite language with us. Tobi agari mas sunga, ga provides a kind of a but. It's basically but. So you'll fly higher, but. Uh oh, okay, fine, fine. Okay, akai hane ga ichimai herimas. So your red feathers, uh, ichimai. Mai is a counter for like flat objects. Um, and feathers are, you know, quite flat. They're almost two-dimensional, <laughs> arguably, in a way. Um, so yeah, ichimai, one, and heru is to decrease. So herimasu is just the polite form of that. So, excuse me, your red feathers will decrease by one. And then akai hane wa gojumai shika uh, mochi hakobi Dekimasen. That's interesting. Okay. Um. So akai hane wa red feathers. Just bring it up, bringing them up as the topic. Goju mai shika. Um. Sh oh gosh. Well, that's fifty, isn't it? Fifty red feathers. Uh. Shika mochi hakobi dekimasen. Looks like mochi hakobu has become a noun here. Yes, I think so. So mochi hakobi has become a noun. So the 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 possessing and carrying. And then we've sort of used suru to make it into a verb again, but we've used the potential form of suru, which is dekiru, and it's also negative, deki nai, and also polite. So it's deki masen. So that's, so you cannot. Um, you cannot possess and carry around um, anything, sorry, yeah, uh, except 50. Shika is kind of 50, uh, sorry, not 50. Shika is kind of except, but it has to be used with negative sentences or negative verbs or whatever. So it's sort of like other than 50, you cannot carry around you know, you cannot carry around red feathers other than 50 of them. It's, uh, it's, uh, a bit weird to explain, but, um, yeah. Shka's really good. It's, it's a good, good grammar point to get the hang of, yeah. <laughs>
And then we've got this thing. I think he said this when we were swimming as well, right? Aru botan wo tsukau to. So use the R button and, or again, if you use the R button, sharpu ni magaremas. Sharply, and this is potential form of magaru. So magareru, which means um, to be able to turn. Uh, so you uh, you can turn sharply if you use the R button. Cheers, mate. It's all good information. Just fly to this jiggy. Do we need eggs? Yes, we do. Break all of these then. Need feathers as well, that's good. Well, it's good that they're there, not good that we need feathers, but yeah. Oish! Oish! Where have they done this? Where have they made the game this way? Is that Mumbo Skulls? Yes, it is. <laughs> Some of these early levels are a bit too easy, really, aren't they? <laughs> Just getting jiggies like thrown at us. Oi! Take these eggs. Happens. Feathers and a mumbo skull. I'm gonna get all the feathers. There's plenty around. Um, there was a button over here, so I'll get the button. <laughs> Use that word all the time now. Wait, is there anything else? Oh, oh yeah, there's a there's a honeycomb there. Look at that. Uh, okay, what's he saying here? So he's saying, Yaho! Just sort of like, hey yo <laughs> Sunaka sama wa desato mo hakken shita ze. Um, so again, referring to himself as Snacker sama. Uh, desato, meaning dessert. Mo, meaning like also. I've written that in the wrong order there. I, I, I was teaching Japanese the other day and I realized that uh, this vertical sort of curvy bit comes first, and then the horizontal lines. But I've always been doing it as the horizontal lines first, and then the curvy bit. Um, so, I am flawed. Um, and then hakken means basically discover to be found. So hakken shita just kind of makes it into um, a verb. Yeah, past tense verb. So I found or I discovered uh, also a dessert. It's what he's saying, with Z at the end. Just because it's funny. Then he's saying, then he said, mm mm mm. Moo moo moo. I think that's just, I think moo 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 basically just stands in as going, mmm. Like you might make when you've, you know, when you eat something and it's delicious, you go, mmm, you know. Uh, and then he said, umai, did he? Umai ze or something, umai zo. Umai, we've seen already, I think, just means like, you know, tasty, delicious. Can also mean sweet. Yeah, umai ze. So delicious, basically. Oh, what's going on? I can fight that crab lad. What's in there? Can't see. Eggs. Okay. Uh, 
Yeah, I guess I'd better fight the crab boy. Let's go. Oh. <laughs> this guy's coming to beat us up. So, Kisamara. Oh, that's interesting. He's added a ra to Kisama to make it plural. I've never, I don't think I've ever seen that before. Um, Kisama is a, a really rude way to address someone. It means you, but it's really bad. Uh, you can't say that to people. Don't say it to people. And then ra, just pluralizing it so that, you know, he's talking to the two of us. You effers, you could probably translate it as. Um, koko wa oresama o yadokari no nippa na. And then I guess he's going to say beach or kaigan. Uh, yeah. So this place, oresama, adding sama to the first person, very rough male sounding pronoun, ore. Um, yeah, oresama. So it's, again, don't say this about yourself. It's kind of dumb. Um, unless you're joking, I, I sometimes do. Um, just as kind of a joke. But yeah, you probably shouldn't. O Yadokari. I guess that's whatever kind of crab he is. I'm just going to look that up. Uh, okay, hold on. Let me just look up a Yadokari then, because that hasn't returned any results. Hermit crab. <laughs> Excellent. That's brilliant. Hermit crab. Yadokari. Like the word Yado is a lodging. And kari is like the stem of the verb kariru, which is to borrow. So it's like a lodging borrower. <laughs> That's great. I like that. Yadokari. Yadokari. Because obviously they change shells, right? And stuff. So he's, he's, he's a lodging borrower. He's a borrower of lodgings. Um, but it does have other kanji as well. But uh, yeah, I don't know. I just thought that, that's kind of funny. Yadokari. So it's, yeah, this kind of crab, a hermit crab or whatever. And then Nippa, that's his name. So Nippa, the. And then O is the kanji for large or giant or big or great. So maybe the great hermit crab Nippa. Or Nippa, the great hermit crab or something. And anyway, we're not done with the sentence yet. He's saying this is I, uh, Nippa, the great hermit crabs. Senyo bichi, does it? Senyo means like exclusive use. So it's kind of, you know, um, yeah, it's it's only for him. Uh, exclusive, oh, as I literally said it, yeah, exclusive use, personal use, dedicated, private. There you go, private's probably best, private beach. Uh, Senyo bichi, does it? Ara? Sore ga doushita na? Um, so, ara, just kind of a surprise noise. And sore ga doushita? Sore ga, kind of bringing up what he said to us and saying kind of like... Yeah, well, just saying that, that information you've just said. Doushita. Like, how did it become that way? How do you figure that? What did you do for that to be the case? Um, basically questioning his authority, I suppose, saying like, how, how, how does that work? What do you mean? Um, how is it yours? Um, I believe. And then no again, just, uh, you know, inquiring. Uh, garo. I don't know. That's just a noise, I guess. Uh, namaiki na tori me. Okay. Namaiki, I believe is just, uh, like, uh, cheeky, basically. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, basically, it's just cheeky. And then nut, because it's a nut adjective. Tori is bird, so cheeky bird. And then me kind of um, comes after, like, nouns for people or, or what you call people. And it and it just, it just expresses a lot of, like, hatred for them. So he's basically saying, you effing... Cheeky bird, or something like that. You piece of cheeky bird, something like that. Um, yeah, it just expresses a lot of hate um, for the person. 
Uh, hane wo sanpatsu shite yarou ka? Sanpatsu. Uh, let me just look that up for a second. I guess it's, you know, to cut down. Yeah, hair cutting, hair dressing. Oh, that's funny. Okay. <laughs> so uh, you need to say uh, sh uh, suru to make it into a verb. And he's just saying shite yarou because I guess it's kind of volition, isn't it? It's like, shall I, shall I, you know, hairdress your feathers? Or, you know, obviously, less literally, cut down your feathers to size. Something like that. Um, sonna onboro no hasami de atai wo kilei ni dekiru kashira. Okay. <laughs> so sonna is like such, basically. Such... And then on borrow, I guess, is just maybe clumsy. Oh, worn out, shabby, tattered, dilapidated. Um, so, yeah, on borrow no hasami. Hasami is like hasami is scissors, but also, I guess, you know, these claws, right? Because they're, they're like they're like scissors. I think they're just like um, kind of cutting blades, perhaps. Uh, yeah, so such, uh, sorry, we'll start here actually, using such uh, kind of worn out clippers, um, I wonder, I suppose, Kashira, I wonder um, if you can, I suppose, if you can um, cleanly me, no, no. I think I think I've said already, haven't I? Ni suru can mean to make something a certain way. So ni dekiru is just a potential form of that. So can you make me, you know, pretty or clean? Can you clean me up? Yeah, atai is me. Can you clean me up with such uh, shabby claws? Oh, okay. He's going for it. I feel bad for him. Huh. Oh, okay. Eh, that's interesting. Cheeky show. That's quite interesting, that, I think. Because cause the, 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 there's a word that people say in Japanese that is chiku show. Chiku show. And it means like, it means like damned beast, I suppose. It, it also gets translated as like son of a bitch and things like that. Um... It's it's basically just an exclamation that that expresses, I suppose, rage or frustration or something. Um, but usually it's chiku show, and I wonder I wonder if he's saying chiki show because it's it's sort of a mix maybe of chicken and chiku show. Um, I wonder. Chiki show. I don't I don't think people say that. Oh, hold on. Oh, no, they do. They do, apparently. Yeah, oh, s never mind. Yeah, cheeky show apparently is also a legitimate way of saying it. I've only heard chiku show, but cheeky show also exists. But I still, it might, it might, they might have opted for that one still because it's, you know, in reference to a chicken. Could be. And then nippa sama wo. Okoraseru to kowaize. Okay, Nippasama. So again, referring to himself as Nippasama uh, by his name. Um, okoru is to be angry, to become angry, to anger. Um, uh, yeah, to to become angry, basically. And so, okolaseru, that's the causative form of that verb. So from okoru, it becomes okolaselu, and that's causative. So it's sort of like to make someone mad, to cause someone to be mad. And we've got wo here, so he's marking himself as the object. So it's like if you, yeah, to sort of acts as if, doesn't it? If you make me angry, kawaii. And uh, kawaii just means scary or terrifying. Um, 
So he's kind of saying, if you make me angry, I get scary. I become scary, I guess. Or I will be terrifying. And then Zare at the end for fun. Whoops. Oh. No. Oh, I feel kind of bad. Poor little lad. He was just trying to enjoy a Senyo beach. I'm pecked his eyes out. Eggs. Ooh, he's got like little crab babies. No, he doesn't. Noise, right? Like frustration. Demo kondo wa doko daka wakarumai. Okay. Demo just meaning but kondo meaning this time this occurrence of the of the X appearing somewhere. I suppose this time. Doko uh, daka. Um. So we've got kind of a declarative with a question mark here, like. Dokul Daka. I suppose it's different to Dokul Ka because Dokul Ka is like. Ah, what is Dokul Ka? Dokul Ka can be somewhere. Dokul Daka is kind of like. Where am I? Question mark. Where, where am I? Wakaru mai. Wakaru mai, I feel like, I think mai just kind of acts weirdly as a kind of a negator of a, a dictionary form verb um, that comes before it. Uh, so it's just saying you don't understand. You don't, it's not clear. You don't know where I am. Uh, I think that's right. I think that's what Mai does. So yeah, something like that. So, uh, but this time, where am I? You don't know. You don't know where I am. Whoops. I'm kind of annoyed in a way about these, about being invincible. Eesh. Okay, we're nearly there with all the notes. Oh. Okay, so eat. Um, 
Yeah, this is just a slightly... Um, what's the word? A slightly altered way of saying itai, which is the adjective meaning painful. And it's what people say when, you know, something hurts. So they'll say itai, itai, when, you know, when they hurt themselves instead of ouch or ow. And so this is just ite. You can you can kind of just change like i sounds in Japanese into e sounds. It makes it sound rougher. Um, like wakanai can become wakane, and it's uh, yeah. You can just do that, yeah, a lot. Um, so that's all it is. It's just saying ow basically in a really kind of rough sort of blokish kind of way, I suppose. And then soto yatte kureyo. Soto means like gently or softly. Uh, yatte kure, I guess, you know, do. Do it softly. And then yo kure is like... Well, kure is, is kind of the imperative of kureru, which is quite funny. Um, wait, is it? Yeah, I feel like it kind of is. So it's, even though kure is kind of like asking for a favor, it's he's still using like imperative on it kind of thing. Mm, I don't know. It doesn't quite conjugate the same as other imperative verbs. So maybe it's not imperative, but I think it does have that kind of vibe. So yeah, no, maybe it is. Maybe it is. Sotto yatte kure. So it's like, come on, man. <laughs> softly, do it softly, would you? It's kind of the kind of the vibe. What's going on there? The texture's a bit messed up. Uh, oh, a skull. I want them. Nice deal. Uh, what's left to do? I need to go up to the lighthouse. Oh, there's a skull there. Damn, I want that. Thanking you. Oh, there's a ginger up here. Damn. Oosh! Find out what's in this treasure chest. It's just a jiggy. Excellent. <laughs> oh! Okay. Kore wa Gurantiruda sama no otakara da. So this Gruntilda sama's treasure. Sawaru na. That's the negative imperative um, of touch. So sawaru is touch, and na just means don't touch in a quite a strong way. Shouldn't have landed. Oish! Uh, takara wo totta na. Um, this na here is basically the same as ne, I feel. So, uh, uh, totta is the past tense of toru, meaning to take or to get or whatever. So, took treasure, didn't you? Uh, you've taken the treasure, haven't you? Uh, I suppose, more naturally. Um, uh, sonna koto suru to game wa don don. Sonna koto suru to. So, if you do such things, if you. Yeah, if you do such things, do such things and. Game wa don don. Okay. Muzukashku naru zo. So the game will sort of bit by bit steadily. Uh, muzukashi is difficult. So muzukashku naru is like become difficult. So the game will become steadily difficult if you do uh, such things. If you keep you know, taking treasure and, and what not. Uh, what's going on over here? Why are these boxes here? Oh my gosh. Cheese to kuraka kana. So, um, <laughs> cheese and crackers, I wonder. Sort of vibe. Soko de jitto shterun da ze. 
じっとしてるんだぜ。Is this? I think this うんだ might be going way back to what Bottle said in like part one.、Uh, it's when you are sort of, it, it, it can mean like advice or telling someone to act in a certain way. So I wonder if it's saying at that place where you are, you know, yeah, at that place. Jitto is like to freeze up, I believe.、Um, Like to freeze up, to out, maybe out of fear, even.、Uh, yeah, motionlessly, fixedly. So, yeah, just. And then, shteru, is, I suppose, is just, you know, remain there fixedly, remain there motionlessly.、Um, the unda makes it into kind of an order, and then the ze is just a fun sort of sentence ending particle thing. So, yeah. So, cheese and crackers, I wonder.、Uh, j- wait there a second. Maybe the vibe. Dude, he's getting close. Yeah. I know there's a note. <laughs> Look at that, there's a single note there. Nice. The last Jinjo. Switch behind. Oh, good. Okay, five notes up here. That's good. Hey! Kono stage no ompu o hyak. We've seen that before already, haven't we? So,、uh, this stage,、uh, this stage's、uh, notes、uh, 100 all gathered, haven't you? And then, you've given it your best, haven't you? Wahoo! Uh, I think I want to go over there for the last. Oi! Oi! Oh! Okay, we're fine. I thought I, I thought I couldn't. I thought I wouldn't be able to like, glide down again, but it was okay. I think the, the, the honeycomb is over here. Oh, there's a skull. Oh, look, it's got little writing on it. What does that say? Sharkuku Island. Sharkuku Island. What's that? Sharkuku. Obviously, shark, but what's uku? Shark hook? Shark or shark cook? I don't know. Don't really get it. Sharkuku Island. Oh, what, what's going on? There's a life there. I don't want a life. What's this box? 
should be a box with an extra honeycomb piece. Is it seriously? Maybe I've got a broken version of the game. guys you know what, what? <laughs> I don't understand where is this there's a life on it was there I don't want I don't want a life I want a honeycomb piece Is this game okay? That's weird. I'm gonna have to look it up. I didn't get it, did I? A one of two. Uh. Yeah. Floating between the spiral tower and little lockup aisle. Oh, is it really? Little lockup. Is that. Is that where I broke the treasure chest? going to leave and get the witch switch jiggy and I'll be done. Maybe some feathers on the way as well. Kimi Tachi no Kono Stage Deno Ompu no Besto Kiroku wa Genzai Hyakko desu. That's different. Genzai. Genzai means like presently, basically. <laughs> so is presently or now uh, 100. And we'll get this. Amazing. Alright, good. Uh, that's that then. So, uh, yeah, uh, like the video if you like it, sub if you want, thanks to my patrons, thanks to you for watching, hope it was worth it, and I'll see you next time.